My interest about Belize uh, began 10 years ago. I tried to cross the border, but I couldn't because I didn't have the right papers in my uh, car. But then I tried again and I discovered that, uh, I mean, that we are neighbors, we're neighbors countries, but in Mexico, nobody knows anything about Belize. Or oh, most of the people doesn't know anything about Belize. We don't even, as Mexicans, we don't even know that uh, the offic official language in Belize is English, for example. So I just discovered that it is a very interesting uh, country and that we are just right away, just divided by the Rio Hondo or the Hondo River. And we don't know anything about you guys. So yeah, it, that was interesting for me. And also we discovered that we share some history, especially in the case of the movie. Uh, the movie takes place in the early 20s when the gum industry was really powerful, the chewing gum industry. So I discovered that we shared that history and Mexico and Belize were producing a lot of chewing gum to export to the US. And especially in those years, in the early 20s, the border was very blurred. So everybody crosses the border like with canoes or just swimming and smuggling goods and everything. So basically the movie takes place in that area and half of the characters are from Belize and half of the characters are Mexicans. So that's why we are looking for, especially for the Smith sisters, who are the main characters of the film. Agnes, which is the main character, she's about between 18 and 23 years old. Uh, she's a beautiful Belizean Creole girl. And her older sister, Florence, who is about between 27 and 31 years old. So these two young girls uh, end up in the middle of the Mexican jungle, uh, lost and of course afraid and uh, later in the film they are going to encounter with some group of Mexican chicleros, the one who work with the chewing gum. And of course for them, for this group of 10 men, it's really weird to find a beautiful Belizean woman in the middle of the jungle. So everything turns up to be like a crazy madness story in the middle of the jungle because these two women make these men become crazy.